to continue on the simulation racing we have today and as I already stated with the Moza R16 base video we have the CRP racing pedals and we're going to complete the whole setup with the FSR formula wheel with the R16 base we're going to complete the setup with the CRP pedals and this is going to be interesting because we have loads of advantages with CRP comparing them to the SRP pedals which will give us more accuracy when braking, giving throttle or clutch but in my scenario I'm just going to use the brake and throttle since in formula you don't use clutch in addition to that I might be building another sim rig that will definitely have the clutch, brake and throttle but for that I will be using the SRP pedals and the R5 bundle. This will be strictly for Formula 1 racing and eventually for GT. Now here we have loads of stuff okay so we have the clutch, we have the brake and we have the throttle. We have the base, you have the USB connection, then we have one more spring for the brake and some distancers, we have allen wrenches and you get loads of screws to attach first of all the pedals to the base and then the base to your sim rig. Now when we discuss this comparing it to the SRP what we have here is high precision load cell, aeroplane grade aluminium with three stage clutch which can be adjusted through Moza pit house, then we have pressure angle and travel adjustability and you can also adjust the pedals to get the feeling as you're in a race or a performance car. The whole ecosystem of Moza is outstanding and I do have to say even though they're only based for PC and they give us basically only possibility to have Moza products combined together, you can with these, with these pedals actually mix. And that's really good because what happens is that these pedals aren't connected to your base uh, comparing it to the R5 where everything is connected to the base and then you connect your single USB directly to your PC. Now here we have individual connections so basically from the throttle you have one cable running out and with that cable basically the clutch as well has one cable running out. The brake pedal has all the other connections so on the left side you have a connection for the brake which is logical it's already pre-connected then we have a connection for the clutch and USB to connect it to your PC after that on the right side we have DC input which is power then we have throttle motor and you have throttle connection for your throttle which is kind of logical so basically this is how the plate should be turned and you place the brake then you place the gas pedal and then you place the clutch. Now when we're talking about the design, so each of these pedals have holes and they have mounting mechanisms to be able to connect it to the base. At the back we have a spring giving us some additional tension and uh, the design is actually really good. It actually reminds me of the R16 base which gives some additional feeling to the whole design. The edges are nicely rounded so it's not sharp in terms of like the uh, SRP pedals so it has some visual aspect to it as well comparing it to the SRP pedals. So without discussing this without actually testing it out and doing some actual driving let's place this in my sim rig and check out more details about it. So what I can say the main rig is done including as already stated the FSR, the R16 and the CRP pedals. Now since I'm driving in this sim rig exclusively F1 and eventually some uh, Assetto Corsa Competizione I removed the clutch pedal and this is really straightforward you just don't place it on the main plate but what I encountered is that you don't have more holes in terms of adjusting the separation and if you separate the gas and the throttle and the brake pedal to the maximum you don't have enough cable length so this is something that you need to consider while doing it so but I managed because you do have some wiggle space you do have some um, let's say extra holes on the left side for the brake to give you additional space to basically do this thing. Now when we're talking about the Moza pit house so for instance as you know already from my past video you have the 
wheel, you have the base and you have the pedals. So basically when you go to the, when you check out the main window in Moza Pit House, you can see the CRP pedals and basically you can set the minimum and the maximum for the throttle and the brake minimum and maximum. As you can see from the other video that is right here somewhere where I placed it, uh, that I really need to push a bit harder to get to the maximum. So you can adjust that, for instance here, and set it that this is the maximum. This will give you some sort of an adjustment for the brake pedal and you can do that the same way for the throttle. But since the throttle isn't that hard to press fully, I wouldn't suggest changing that, only the brake if it's if this is a bit too much to press because I am using currently loads of force but I do have to use most much force than on the SRP pedals but that's completely different. So when we go to the options and click more you have clutch output curves, you have brake output curves and you have throttle output curves. Now you can set this any way you want and depending on the style that you're driving and of course the the races the cars the games that you're driving for instance it might not be similar to rally and f1 which is without a doubt truth i think at least what i think uh the thing is so you have some presets you have straight line you have different curves to adjust and you have a possibility to do additional which will give you an option to set it as you wish which is all up to you and uh, as you've seen since we have loads of you need loads of uh, power to press down the brake pedal i put it like so now there's a, also a possibility to reverse each of those so let's see that it works differently so it goes from the top to the bottom but that's all up to you again and you can calibrate each pedal individually now of course you can save the settings import settings and default settings which will basically restart all the settings that you have on the factory once and that's all there is to it unfortunately there isn't too much to adjust here except for the springs and the spacers that you can change and swap on individually basically on each of the pedals giving you let's say different force and different pressure while pressing each pedal on each of the pedals right so brake throttle and clutch so it's all up to you and of course you can adjust the height so without further ado let's do some driving and uh, sorry for the stuttering a bit it wasn't intentional but uh, let's do some driving of course i'm going to drive again f1 and sorry for being uh, so um, let's say stubborn with only one game but basically this is the only game that i'm driving currently and the only game that i'm currently so so good at so yeah let's do that a bit and uh, you'll see how i don't have to because of that curve i don't have to press too much of the throttle because it immediately well basically breaks because i have higher impact on the beginning and then it eventually uh, starts to go linear and that's basically it so let's go with silverstone this time uh flying lap yeah why not at least it's not raining that's for sure <laughs> As you can see, I'm not pressing the brake pedal too much and uh, this is because of that curve that I set. So this kind of brings me to the point where I don't have to use too much force to actually achieve my braking point at some curves or just to grab that perfect braking uh, section in each corner. So yeah, that, there's that. 
Now you might think that I'm talking a bit of a nonsense, but it's all up to personal preferences and how you want to adjust each of the pedals, the bass and everything else. So this kind of gives us some, um, let's say, personal choice to adjust it how you want and will give you and will give you definitely some enjoyment while playing without a doubt i mean if you can't adjust the uh, wheel base and the pedals as you wish you can't actually enjoy the game to the maximum or achieve high fast uh, speed high fast laps so yeah there's that but yeah now i'm talking nonsense because i'm trying to concentrate on the race as already stated i'm not used to uh talking while driving well at least not here inside the game so yeah that's a new thing for me for sure so let's do one more lap quickly and yeah that was too much break for me here we go let's I'm still having the R16 bass uh, set to really high force feedback, which is really tearing up my arms, but okay, I'm, I need to get used to that. So it's, it's something different completely. Uh, doesn't have to do anything with the pedals. So <laughs> yeah, let's finish this lap and uh, then we'll make a conclusion, of course. Uh, the reason why I'm driving like this, uh, to be honest, I haven't been driving for quite some time now and uh, you can see the result, how it impacts uh, each curve and uh, basically even the, the, even the DRS isn't uh, pressed because I think something is wrong with the control. So this is how much I haven't been driving which will most likely change uh, as already stated in the r16 video quite soon and uh, starting from july i think i think july is the date when here we go okay that's enough oof i think this was a bit um, <clears throat> really it really had loads of impact on my hands currently with the uh, r16 but i really love the complete set I have really nothing against it. This is like premium grade stuff and I really enjoy every second of it. So guys, yeah, this is it when we're talking about it. Comparing the SRP pedals to the CRP pedals, it's, it's nowhere even close to start comparing everything. Because first of all, you could grab that additional spring and spacers for the SRP, which is additional kit and you need to buy it separately which kind of does bring it to some sort of um, not even equal but close to the CRP pedals but what you get with the CRP pedals is insane I mean the quality of the material well it's I think it's not the same but the quality is there but the material done for the used for the CRP is way better the feel while driving and you can even feel the difference because of the edges cut out it's just something that you have to switch from a lower grade well i can't say lower grade because it's still good quality but kind of you know what i'm trying to say so if you're trying to switch to srp to crp you'll definitely notice the difference and not to mention the springs and the tension that gives you back the feedback of pressing the pedals throttle well, I didn't try clutch yet, but um, giving you feedback on everything really is insane. And the not the impact, but the instant um, reaction on your PC when you press it and the accuracy that it gives you is insane. So guys, I mean, if you're really building an outstanding and premium, let's say premium, this might not be the premium premium because you can always go with those additional kickers on the side the different seat uh, i don't know if you can go high higher than this i think this is the most top you can go with r21 eventually if we're talking about moza when we're talking about the pedals the only ones i tried were logitech ones 
even on the G Pro wheel and these are in a higher quality range without a doubt but I mean I have no words I'm really enjoying every single part and I'm not saying this because I love driving and this is my personal sim rig and everything all together I'm saying this because you can notice the quality and that's it so guys what's there left to say I mean you can check out the links in the description below for the FSR for the R16 and for the star of the show the CRP racing pedals from Moza Racing and I don't know if you have any questions you can always leave a comment in the description below and I will answer them as soon as possible because other videos also have comments so I do need to attend that as well so guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and notification bell so you don't miss any future content and eventually if you want to skip to the PC Crazy Racing channel even though it doesn't have content eventually it will start so thanks guys see you next time bye bye